Good morning, all. This is the awesome Sunday, the 20th of June, 2021. Uh, we'll start with it. just a just a quick verse uh, and uh, a little small devotion, and we'll go right into our lesson for today, our topic for today. Come by here, my Lord. Come by here. Come by here, my Lord. Come by here. Come by here, my Lord. Come by here. Oh, Lord. Come by here. Somebody need you, Lord. Come by here. Somebody need you, Lord. Come by here. Somebody need you, Lord. Come by here. Oh, Lord, come by here. Let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, once again, we come before you to say thank you, oh, Father. Thank you for allowing us to see yet another day, oh, Father. Oh, Father, we thank you, oh, Father, for being you and being you all by yourself. We ask you, oh, Father, to give us strength, to increase our courage, oh, Father, to give us knowledge, to give us understanding, oh, Father, to love one another like you would have us to love you. Be with us, Lord Father. Strengthen us during these hard times, during these difficult times. Show us that you are still in charge, oh Father, regardless of what's going on around us. With these and many other blessings, I actually your name. Amen. A time for building up is the only thing for this quarter. Be strong and courageous, happen to be the lesson topic for today. Our scriptures, Joshua 1, first chapter, 9th verse. Psalms 119, uh, verse 105, Ephesians 6 and 10. Our key verse is coming from Joshua, first chapter, ninth verse. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with you, forever, th forever, forever thou goest. The central question that I want you to ask yourself, will you allow a setback to become a shutdown? Will you allow a setback to become your shutdown? We hope to obtain through this lesson, our aims are for you to understand that God did not give you the sense of fear, to understand that redemption is yours for the accident. Our introduction, what does it take to be strong and courageous is the question at hand. Life on this side can be frightening at times if we are not rooted and grounded in faith. Your individual level of being strong and courageous depends on your faith, understanding who you are and whom you are, and the promises made in the word should sustain you. Psalms 119 verse, uh, 119 chapter verse 105 states, your word is a lamp unto my feet and light unto my path. You must carry with you. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. From Ephesians 6 and 10. Your courage and your strength. Be strong and courageous. The word courageous derives from the word courage. Webster defined courage as a mental or moral strength to face danger without fear. They go that word again with fear. Without fear. Is it easy? No, I say not. Can it be done? Yes, most definitely. What will it take? Trusting in the word of God. The word by God and the word by God to you. Being strong and courageous rolls off the lip. Kind of easy, kind of well. The four words make up that statement, but a lot goes into making it happen. The very first ingredient, well, it starts with faith. Not just anyone's faith, but your faith. You must be able to trust him when you can't trace him. Hebrews 11 and 1, this reminds us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Faith. Deuteronomy, 31st chapter, the 6th verse, tells you that he will not leave you or forsake you. In other words, God's got your back. I know people use those phrases all the time and folks are left stuck out because man has failed them time and time again. When they tell you that they've got your back, only when going gets good, 
when the time gets rough, you'll find out who really has your back, and that's the God Almighty. In Numbers 23rd chapter, the 19th verse, God is not man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall, and shall he not make it good? If God said it, he can stand on it. Strength and courage. You can't complete your mission unless you are strong and courageous in your faith. And not just believe, but have enough faith that you can will, or you can and will stand on it. Daniel, Daniel didn't say, uh, didn't get himself out of the lion again by hoping everything works out in his favor. The Hebrew boys' strength brought them out of, of a somewhat normal situation. They were strong enough in their faith to face the furnace, even if God didn't intercede. Be strong. Be courageous. When you have a relationship with God, you will be able to hear the voice speaking to you. You will have the self-assurance that this journey that you're on, you are not by yourself. And he will never leave you or forsake you. And if you look down and only see one set of footprints in the sand, just know he's carrying you at this moment in your life, at this moment in your situation. You are not alone. Have strength and courage. God gave Joshua his marching orders when Moses died. Gave him the instructions to lead and the assurance that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. God did not give us a sense of fear. That's something we pick up living in this earthly body and living on this sinful world. Living in a sinful world. Having man and Satan directing your path instead of God. Having man telling you what you are capable of or not capable of doing. Planting that seed of doubt. Planting that seed of doubt. Having Satan guiding you left when the Holy Spirit is telling you to go right. Increase your spirit. Increase your faith. Increase your strength. Increase your courage by cultivating your relationship with God. Constantly dining on the word of God. If you want to get full on anything, get full on the word of God. In order to stand up to the injustices in this world, you have to be strong and courageous. Walk even if you are walking all by yourself. Speak up if what's being said is not the truth. Your character as a child of God would require that you increase your faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Be strong and courageous. It isn't something you happen upon. It takes reading. It takes studying. Increasing your faith. Life lessons. And most importantly, a relationship with God. When you increase in these areas, your life will be able to increase these areas in your life. You will be able to to let go and watch God do his thing. You will no longer be a bystander in the face of injustice. You will acquire the strength to stand for what God teaches you. That it's all right to put others' needs before your own. The strength to say I must take a stand. The strength to know that we all matter. Life matter. The word matter. Strong enough to know that if Ruth can endure in the face of obstacles, then so can you. And everybody knows the story about Ruth. You have to have faith in order to be able to go what she went through and still persevere and come out on the other side. Be strong. Be courageous. I may, not, I may get knocked down, but my God carries, carries in the hem of his garment the strength I need to overcome. No, you don't have to be super, be a superhero to be super. Be strong and courageous. And so are the angels. God loves you. And I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Being strong and courageous, that's a, that's a journey that you must take on your own. You must go out and find the tools needed through the word, through practicing the word, through living, through becoming selfless, putting others first. Our theme for the month says time for building up. And I want to just remind you before I come before I go before your presence, before I leave your presence, that 
When you start talking about building up, the most dangerous part of the human anatomy that God created is this thing right here. The power of life and death is in the tongue. You can build folks up or you can tear them down. You can strengthen their will or you can break them down. You can have them courageous by just telling them and supporting them and giving them the, the uh, physical, mental uh, guidance and strength that they need. Words matter. So please be careful and mindful of what comes out of your mouth. Be strong. Be courageous. Will it be easy? Like I said earlier, no, it won't be. Is it possible? Yes, it is. All things is possible with Christ Jesus. Will you make the decision to be strong and be faithful? Our lessons apply. Joshua rests on the assurance and the promise made to Moses. Apply to him as well as it did to Moses. You too can stand on the promises. My question to you is, will you? Being strong and courageous requires you to have faith and focus. What does your self-evaluation of yourself say about you? Are you strong? Is your faith worthy? Are you where you need to be? I know none of us out here that's on this journey, that's chasing after God. We're not the person or the Christian that we should be. But well, we thank God that we're not the person, the Christian that we used to be. We're getting stronger. We're developing our, our, our sense of understanding of the word. We must increase our knowledge. We must increase our understanding. But more importantly, we must spend time with the word, spend time with God, and spend time with each other. Put others first. Being strong doesn't have anything to do with your size, your anatomy. It's all about what's in your heart and what's in your spirit. Stand on it. Stand on what's right. Do the right thing. And let liberty and justice for all rain down. For we serve a good God who sits high and looks low. Who will never forsake you. Who will never leave you. You will never by yourself. So when you think about that story about the footsteps in the sand, think about Christ Jesus. You only need one set of step, uh, step because he's always with you. Always. Whether you're in the public eye or by yourself. You know he's always going to be there with you when, when mankind and your friends have abandoned you. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, with all thy might. And you too shall come out on the other side. Be strong, my brothers and sisters. Be courageous. The time is definitely now. It's time for being a good Christian. It's a time out for playing church. It's time to do what thus says the law because... The Lord, as you see what's going on around you in society, and what a time, what a time. The time is growing now. So have a blessed day. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Be strong. I love you. Have a blessed day.